want to kill a child. I don't, I don't understand that, that part. I can't put it together. No one wants to ever plan a funeral, let alone the funeral of a nine-year-old child like Alexandria Sissy Thompson. Any of that, like you have to be the most vicious person ever on the inside. You just can't have a soul. Thompson's aunt spoke to me by phone today. It's been five days since the little girl was murdered in her dad's house on Burnett Avenue. No one has been arrested. The family says she was shot when a group of suspects barged into the house, shot Thompson and her father. It's just trying to get justice for her and trying to get an understanding and a peace of mind about the whole entire situation. And it's not an easy task. Police say investigators have been actively following leads. The mayor and council are using campaign funds to bump the reward from 1000 to 2500 It's a high, high priority, but when you have a nine-year-old little girl who's the victim of a homicide, you know, it just elevates the level of, of uh, concern, certainly in the community, and, and for our officers are working as hard as possible. But investigators need more people to do the right thing if they know anything. We need you to step up and start trying to do something about it before it happened to someone in your family. As investigators try to track down the killers, the community is rallying behind the family. And she was a sweetheart. She was a sweetheart for anybody that knew her or, you know, has come across her would tell you she was the sweetest little girl you could ever meet. Now, the family has started a GoFundMe page for Sissy's funeral costs. We will have that link on our website, WLWT.com, as well as the phone number for Crime Stoppers if you know anything about this shooting. Reporting live, Temi Mutasa, WLWT News 5.